Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech and in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys something I found out while I was playing around with the cameras of the new iPhone 7 Plus. So by now you probably know the 7 Plus has a dual camera setup. One, a primary camera with a wide angle lens and a f1.8 aperture. The other, the secondary camera with a telephoto lens and a f2.8 aperture, both 12 megapixels. Apple claimed this setup will enable optical zoom. So let's quickly recollect how it actually works. By default, the 7 Plus uses the primary camera with a wide-angle lens to capture photos. As you can see, I've closed the secondary camera and I'm still able to capture photos. We zoom in 2x, you can't see anything now, because the phone now uses the telephoto lens, which has twice the focal length of the wide-angle lens, 56mm. So we get 2x zoom without loss of quality. The sharpness and detail are better in pictures taken with optical zoom than those taken with digital zoom. So with this basic knowledge, let's move on to what this video is all about. So a couple of days back in the evening, I was explaining the same thing to a friend of mine but to my surprise, I could still see an image on the display even after I'd covered the secondary camera. Now under good light, let me close the telephoto lens and hit 2x, you can't see the picture. But under low light, when you close the telephoto lens, zoom in 2x, you can see it. Why? because the phone doesn't use the telephoto lens. Again, why? The secondary camera has a 1 by 3.6 inch sensor, which is smaller than the primary camera's 1 by 3 inch sensor. The aperture too is f2.8 compared to f1.8. So the secondary camera with a smaller sensor and narrower aperture allows less light in, leading to a possibly worse image than what you'd get with digital zoom via the primary camera. There's another situation where the iPhone uses the wide-angle lens while zooming in instead of the telephoto lens. Let's go close to the subject and get a macro shot. Close the telephoto lens. Let's now zoom in 2x. As you can see, once again, the iPhone uses the wide-angle lens for capturing photos. Why? Because the minimum focal length of the wide-angle lens is lesser than that of the telephoto lens, which makes it impossible to use the telephoto lens for capturing macro shots. Long story short, Apple's algorithm detects and chooses the best camera for the situation. And for macro and low light shots, the iPhone uses digital zoom, just like most other smartphones in the market. In situations where the secondary camera with the telephoto lens will give better results, the iPhone uses it, enabling the use of optical zoom. So that's it for this quick informative video. It's just something I noticed while I was playing around with the iPhone's camera and I thought you guys would find it interesting. And if you did find it interesting, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech and I'll see you in my next video. Have a nice day.